equally as appealing is the appetizer to the main event. A tasty treat for fight fans as the on-off saga of our two young unbeaten super middleweights is finally good to go. British champion James DeGale, bitter rival George Groves, both here on the ringside set and these two have a deep, deep history. Former friends who fell out years ago. I'm ready for it, uh, so I'm just waiting for the call from Frank. But ugly kid, I'm ready, it's not come out. The uh, fans want it, uh, so it's only right for him to get knocked out. Uh, I've told everyone before, it'll be a, a Groves win. Um, whether it comes by a knockout or points, I don't really care. Um, he knows that I've got his number. I just want them to sign the contract. Sign the contract and let's do this, ugly boy. I'm coming for you, you're next. I think he's going to struggle to sleep during the preparations for this fight because he's going to have me on his brain all the time. And if he don't, then he's foolish. Don't matter what he thinks. I know I'm going to knock him out of him four rounds when it happens. So bring it on, ugly boy. Bring it on, you ugly boy. Bring it on. Everything I need, I've got. And I don't need that much to beat James anyway. Four rounds. Come to fight me, though. I want him to come and fight me. Fight me. Get knocked out. Adam and I, Adam and I will try and keep these two apart. This is not like this. This is very real, isn't it? Tell me, is it? John, it's very real. Very, very real. I don't mince my words. I tell it as it is. And this fight is on. What is it? What is it, James? Where, where did it all stem from? What's the beginning? Uh, just as an amateur, this uh, has lived in my shadow for half his life. <laughs> God, uh, that must feel like a night. He has. Uh, I've done everything that he couldn't do. Uh, went to the Olympics when the Olympic got money for my country. Uh, just stems from there, obviously he beat me as an amateur. Uh, robbed me. Uh, but he beat but you? He beat me, yeah, he beat me fair and square. Well, not, well, not, sorry, I got that a bit mixed up. Not fair and square, but he beat me on the night. That's it. So it wasn't but fair now, and square? It was not fair and square. But you just said it was fair and square. I got a bit mixed up, my words, son. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And is that the first time you got mixed up? I'm a big kid. Don't be too close to him, please. Did you beat him because you were better, George? Yeah, of course, Adam. That's why. That's what happens in boxing. You, know, you beat people because you're better than them, and that's what happened that night. I beat him because I was better than him. Were you jealous, though, at any stage of the fact that he went on and won the Olympic gold and you didn't? Uh, never jealous about him winning Olympic gold. At the time, I was jealous uh, slightly because I thought, well, maybe, you know, I've proved that, you know, I'm as good as this guy, if not better, I am what better. What did you do internationally? And, let me speak. And I went on and won uh, the ABAs that year but never got recognised for it. I didn't get to train with the, the A-team, as it was, the, uh, the, the 2008 crew, and uh, I was just Number left ones. out in the cold. Yeah, exactly. Number one. After bashing you up, bashing knocking out on, George, other internationals... You're and gassed. Then... Don't get gassed, bro. You didn't bash no one up. You didn't bash no one up. Just come on, bro. Stop I being silly. I you up, I beat you, Ugly and then kid, got stop neglected being silly. for it. Okay, but you were both silly. from the same amateur club, the Dale Youth. Mm. Never friends, never friends. If Don't get it twisted, we're never friends. Never, ever friends. Uh, didn't socialise together, didn't do nothing. George, All we you... did was at the gym and we spied and that's it. OK, has your confidence come from the success from the amateurs? Beating him from the amateurs, do you think you've got the key to know how to beat James? I know James, I know him. You know, we weren't friends, sure, we don't ever invite him to my birthday party, I never went to share a room with him, but I know who he is. And, and you I can't change who, who he is. is. He's calling you an old ugly is. ginger kid and all this, you know? I mean, how do the family feel ugly, about that? If that's, if that's the best he can come up with, right, let me tell you then that's going to be his downfall, because if he thinks that little words like that is what's going to upset me during this preparations and during the fight, he's wrong. That's the only thing he can count on, because technically, I've got him beat. The only thing he can bank on is that I fight with emotion and the fact that he his face, his stupid... His, his, the way his delusion, the things he says, his ego, his, his arrogance, his ignorance is going to make me want to just hurt him when I should be just boxing Do you think him. he's totally delusional? <sighs> he is, he is, and I can see where he's getting it from as well. This reminds me of uh, Eubanks, Ben. This, this, the, 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 the same setup. What about you, James? It's a wonderful rivalry, this. I mean, come on, for fight fans, James. For fight it's fans, it's a great it's story. Great. For, it's a great story. For fight fans, it's great. He's gassed. He's got people around him. I had to move David Hay, gas in his head. Gas in his head. This guy has not improved. Since I'm, he's not improved. If anything, he's got worse. I've changed heaps and bounds. I'm a totally different animal now. You're both I'm undefeated not, I, as professionals. He, Someone's O. It's got to go. Do you think Ugly it's too boys, soon? O's got to go. Do you think the fight is too soon, James? For him? Yeah. Maybe, yes. What do yes, you think? Yes, I'm going to say how it is. Too soon in, in what sense, Johnny? You, it, it's happening now. It's got to happen now. I'm mentoring for the British title. I'm going to beat, beat, beat him now. I could have beat him when we turn pro. I'll beat him now. I'll beat him in a couple years' time. More is going to be. Who won the fight? You've got no chin. This guy's got no chin. Let me say. Listen, as an amateur, 
You've got no chin, Jules. And when I hit you on that chin, you're all gone. Now, listen. Just like listen, you did. Listen, we'll do, how many listen, times did he hit me listen, on the chin as an amateur saying. when we sparred? Bruv, how many I times? We're not, in, we're not no, six, seven my chin's years the same. back now. My chin's the same. We're so in the professionals now. So you... Wake up with someone a coffee. Let me tell you something. I forgot what I was going to say now. Mm, sounds right. He's clueless. Say. He's delusional. He's got people he's... around him pumping him up. You heard, you heard his trainer, Jimmy Talking, saying, you know, I, if his arm, as if he's got his arm around me telling me, I really like you, George, but you can't win okay. this fight. It's George, not right for you. George, you'll be a repeat from the amateur days as a pro. Why do you think you beat him? Because in his head, he has little demons that will fold. He's like an onion. He's got plenty of layers and he's had plenty of people pump him up. But when it's just me and him in there and he doesn't have his thinking time that he needs and he yeah. can't stay as relaxed as he wants to be so and tactics. there's no one else there to hurt him, uh, to, to help him, give him I'm going to hurt him. George. Give him some I don't need to give him tactics now. Gassed. don't need to give him tactics because he's only Gassed got one trick. Head. His trick is to upset me and then he's already said it. He said, oh, you've got to come and fight me. I I'll knock you out do. but you've got to come let's and fight no, me. Let's James, make you, James, let's James, get the proper fight. That's what you're good at. Come hold the centre of the ring and throw bombs. Why won't you do that for the fans? Who says I haven't done it? Who says I won't do it? I can what are you do that do? and beat him. Why are you trying to be David Hay, Mr. Technical, and try and box like David Hay? Why are you doing that for, Jules? James, James, what you're are you... You're not like James. that, mate. You're not like that. James, what are you're your tactics? You're not like that. Why are you being like that for? This is a desperate Lord. plea for me to become emotionally involved, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> James, what, you, you won't what, let the red mist come down. Definitely not, because that's his only advantage. That's the only way he could have any chance in this fight. He's, he's done it before with previous opponents. How, it happened how, in his last that? fight when he, when he boxed Smith. So what are you going to do? Are you going to stand off me and box me? You want to know what I'm going to do? You can't, I'm going to beat you, but I'm not going to become emotionally involved. Kid. I'm not going to throw punches ugly because boy, I want to hurt him because that. he pulls stupid ugly long headed face man. Like this. You, look, you, you, my friend, ugly you, my boy, friend, you can't you're going to look that. like he's going to look like a horse falling at Cheltenham come May 21st. Ugly kid, you can't do that. You can have that one. Give me a round. Give me a prediction. Give me a round. I don't need to give a prediction. I'll give you one prediction. His trainer, who's inflated him, will pull him out. We'll pull him out at one point because his pride Jim alone Connell, won't let him come. You told me last week you were going to win in five rounds. Four rounds, I'll put money on it. If you're a better man, four rounds, he would get knocked out. Look oh, at, shall I put your purse on mine? Look four at your rounds. swagger. Look at that tie. Where you get that tie from, you fool? Sit down. What's wrong with you, you mad fool? Sit down, Jono. I'm going to knock this guy out with a four round. He's going to get emotionally invested. Great beautiful smiles invest, as well. The Southpaw against the Orthodox. Blah, 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 blah. It huh? should be a cracker. It's going to be a cracker. I just hope... He comes to fight me. He does yeah. hope because that's so the can... only chance is that what? I come in there blind you know, with no as well. There's, there's, no there's, no no there's no way. There's no way he can stand off me and box me, and and win the fight. There's not a chance then in hell. What's your problem with me doing that then? All right, do it. That's right. fantastic. I'm saying okay, okay. I'm okay. I want it for the fans. But why is I want a great fight for the fans. Because I want a great fight for the fans. OK, so the fight I want is us to go James, to the war. fight's over. Is this, is this respect fans, still going to be... You've got no fans. That amount of people... Fans, people uh, come to watch you get beat, and that's what they're going to do May 21st. Bruv, what have I told you? There's going to be a great crowd in London. What I told you, kid? Knock this guy out. George, the fight's over. Are you guys going to be cool after the fight? Or is this animosity going to... After I've beaten the first time... I was there ready to shake his hand. What did he do? He phoned right, up my trainer and said, I can't come down the gym no more. I'm too embarrassed. Bro, I have to leave gym. Face you... Who hates who Look, more? Bare face line. See this? He's got bare face line. You know, Why who hates who more? Line, because that boy. could emotionally yeah. become involved in the fight. Listen, I'm going to have my ice bag on my head, fit, ready you have your to ice go. Bag on the head on in the, the change room after I knock you out. I'm going to knock this guy out. Ugly boy is gone. Please believe me. Remember, I've told you. This will not go 12 rounds. Remember, I've told you. And you will knock him out. Remember, I've told you this. We heard a lot of Audley Harrison saying, believe me, please, oh, come believe on, me. Come on, what kind it's of exactly comparison is that? Deluded, kind of deluded Olympic look, champion. Look, look, That's what we got here. You've been told to say all this, you moron. You told me to You're say very it. ugly and you're getting knocked out 21st of May. You moron. Boys, look, look, boys, look me in my face and tell me you're going to... Uh, I'm going to knock you out May 21st. Oh, wait, uh, call that breath, but please, come on, stop. This is that like breath. It's is that like breath, but please, Drew. You're gassed off your peanut. Roll on May the 21st. You see the, you see the fundamental mistake I'm seeing here? You guys are looking at back at history. You've got to look for tomorrow. You, you're both growing into different types of fighters. One, one's matured quick as a professional than the other. But Johnny, still, Johnny, one's still got the pedigree. Do you want to say James? Come on. No, no, what I'm saying it's is... It's fine, no, You know what I mean? People like you are not helping him, Johnny, oh. because you're inflating him too much, you know? What I'm saying, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> so <laughs> much stick from the Anderson fights. It's unreal. You said to me after the Adamu fight, I hold my hand up, you're yeah. the man, you know, fine, brilliant. You know, I don't, I can take your comments or other people's comments, whether they're good or bad, and just, just um, forget about them.
you know, and that's the way I have to, that's how it has to be. But people are happy to write me off now because of that Anderson fight I don't, and seeing him into world class because George, he beat Paul Smith. George, I don't really? think anybody's writing you off. I think, I think uh, that's that's what you think, but people aren't writing you off because you showed guts, and you anyway. showed heart, and yeah, you showed that you can you can get involved in the terror. That's all he has And that's why this is such an intrigue. We've got to wrap. We've got to call time out here. We've got to wrap this up. We've got to move on. Unfortunately, I tell you what, there's going to be some build up to May the 21st. You two, old fashioned throwback, needle, unbeaten records. Terrific. Both James and George will have a keen eye on the next major super.